Hi guys, congratulations on the film. Can we start with a basic one? Can, can set the scene for us. Tell us about the story in Beautiful Boy. Uh, the film is based on two books written by David and Nick Sheff, father and son, about Nick's uh, drug addiction and his subsequent relapses and how they navigated that period of time in their lives. And you tell us, you, you play those two, right? Father I played David Chef. Absolutely. How did, how did you prepare, Timothy? I did with the books, primarily, and, um, and uh, reading Beautiful Boy a lot and Tweak. And, um, but then also there was a weight loss component just to try to get the, physical, um, um, the physicals of this role right. And then just trying to spend a lot of time in, in, um, in day centers or in, in rehabs and just try to get a sense of that experience of what it would be to isolate in the name of recovery and of, uh, and of uh, re-assimilating but with healthier uh, modes of living. Absolutely. I guess um, one of the sort of central questions at the heart of this is, can you save someone? Would you agree with that, Steve? That, you know? Wow. I, I don't know if I can even answer that. I, I, the, the, it, I think that's far too profound for me, <laughs> for me to... Uh, too early in the morning to do that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think... Uh, I don't. I honestly don't know the answer to that. Um, I, I think you can do your best, and I think you can you can rail against the the tribulations that you encounter. But to put so fine a point on it, I, I don't know. I, I think uh, I, I I don't know. I think it's it's all it's all based on your personal experience and well, circumstance. What, what was it like to play? What was it like to do? Because it's um. To watch, it's, it's poignant and it's beautiful at times, but it's also very difficult sometimes, isn't it? Obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what was it like to actually do? It was trying. It, it's, mm -hmm. I have two kids. I have two teenagers. And it, I found myself during, my, you know, during shooting and weekends and when I was home, I, I found myself staring at my children more. <laughs> Because, you know, you go through life and they're just out doing their thing and you're, you're a family and you, you kind of take it all for granted. But I found specifically during this the shooting period, I was really absorbing them and, and, and taking them in and just watching them um, and, and kind of examining my life in a way. Uh, I don't know. I like trying a lot. That's like, that, that seems really apt. And that's like the great word I feel to describe the experience or, or joker. Our, our joker, our director, joked yesterday during a screening. Uh, you know, we didn't do we we, we did a reasonable amount of tw takes for that scene. I think it was twenty. Um, <laughs> and and yeah, so like, there's no special effects, in, or, or or this isn't a special effects movie. Let's call it. This is a story in a movie about humans, and human behavior, and what makes us family members, and and what 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 compromises the love in a family or between a father and a son, um, and. Uh, and I think that the, the trying nature of that, the pressure of that becomes that it's not like a swinging shot or a cool special effect that becomes the, the juice of the movie. It's, it's, the, it's the humans, it's the story. So I think for Felix, our director included, it was, the, it was trying because everything had to do with relationships and, and behavior. Thank you both very much. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you, guys.